Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Just wanted to show this. I found this online, Indiana Historic Sites and Structures Inventory for Mishawaka. It's a summary report. Um, the information about this picture there. My previous video, I was at Patel Park, and that's the area there, that long strip of land in the top portion of the screen. So yeah, but today I want to talk about this area over here, where the first dam was and where the first factory was and the first bridge over the St. Joseph River all right here in this spot mostly I'm going to talk about the dam and the bridge so okay here's this summary report it was created on August 29th 1979 The survey and summary report was funded by a cooperative effort between the Indiana Department of Natural Resources, the State Preservation Officer from the U.S. Department of Interior, and the City of Mishawaka, Indiana. And there's the information about the front cover. But I'm not going to get into this whole book. Um, you can go online and find it easily. Here's the... Civil War monument from my previous video. Although it has different writing on it than it says now. So, I don't know what that's about. This is the index. If anybody's interested in looking this up, it's at in.gov. Here's Indiana. Here's where we're located, Mishawaka, right next door to South Bend on the west, and on the east is Elkhart. This is the Adolph Cam house, destroyed for a parking lot, Melvin. And all these parking lot. 1890, destroyed for a parking lot. This says it was destroyed. But then it's under construction, under urban development, renewal. Hmm. I think I know what building that is, and it's still there, so I'll have to check that out. This is the old Mishawaka Hotel. It's gone. They built a new post office there. The old post, op post office is directly across the street. And that's on this list of buildings that I'm going to get to. an old photo of Lincoln Way. Yes, I live on historic Lincoln Highway. I'm a, I'm a half a block away from historic Lincoln Highway where I live. There's a railroad station, demolished. Another view, downtown. Second Street, which is the Kenway. There's some maps of the city back in 1979. So the area I'm going to be looking at, right, right there. Patel Park there. Sorry, this is so jittery. My screen recording app is uh, in a very good frame rate, I guess. There's some more downtown. There's a downtown map, and there's where I'm going. I'm going to Central Park to the side of the first dam and the first bridge. 
And here's the list of the buildings that they might consider for the National Historic Registry. We tore down a lot of buildings. So here we are, we're at Central Park, downtown Mishawaka on the north side of the bridge, north side of St. Joseph River. This was recently all renovated, changed it around. And here we are at the first dam site. The dam is no longer there, it's not just a waterfall. There used to be factories over there on the north side back in the 1800s, early 1900s. First dam across the St. Joe River. There's all the information about that. There's also a sign for the bridge, but I can't seem to find it. So this is the site of the original bridge. This is not the original bridge. The plate on this bridge says 1987. I think they totally redid a lot of it except for the bottom part. But there's some construction going on, so I don't know. We just put that sign down for the moment. This is the first bridge site across the St. Joseph River, which you were looking at. Here we are under the bridge. That's looking east. That's the west side. This is the west side of the bridge. The existing structure today. We are looking south from the north side of the bridge. I don't know if you noticed that spire back there. It's a church. Some antico tech on top of it. Um, there's quite a few of them in the area. There's looking at the bridge towards the dam in the background. Okay, the first bridge. I did find the sign on indiana.gov and here's the sign that I was looking for. And I have some other information about the bridge coming up after this. January 21st, 1835, Mishawaka became the first town to be incorporated, proceeding, proceeding by a new, a few months, the plating of the town South Bend. South of the newly named town of Mishawaka was a section several miles wide, which was covered with water most of the year. The marsh made roads into Mishawaka from the south impassable most of the year. Um, up until the 1830s, people wanted to cross the St. Joe River, used canoes, boats, or forded the river at the tw at twin branches or near the rapids. Construction on the dam began in 1833. of the dam was in 1837. The first known bridge across the St. Joseph River was built in 1836. Mr. Tuttle gave the land next to the St. Joseph Ironworks Company for a street to be built to the bridge. The street was named Bridge Street, for obvious reasons. Mr. DeCamp from Elkhart was hired to build the bridge. They floated the material down the Elkhart River on barges, or the St. Joe River, my mistake. It was a toll bridge at first, except for churchgoers and military and militia. It'd be 
he eventually became toll free. The bridge stood for nine years before ice destroyed the northern part of the bridge. A covered bridge was built in 1848 to take its place. After it was built, it was painted bright red and was a spooky place at night. And they hired this guy for three dollars a month to light candles at night and keep them lit so people could see so they wouldn't crash their horses and carriages i guess there's another spire back there at the uh, presbyterian church i believe um there's the other one i was pointing out earlier and i'll get to these buildings they're all on the list i have a list there's a smokestack from the brewery that was built in the 1800s. Still exists. I'll get to that also. Can't really see the other church from here. So thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Ring that little bell for notifications. Have a great day.